Hello, and welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got a special year-end episode for you. First up, let me remind you of the top 50 or so reInvent launches, and then I'm going to dive into a few of them in more detail. So here we go. All the major announcements from reInvent. EC2 Inf1 instances, the Graviton2 processor, Graviton2-based instances, Amazon Bracket, AWS Nitro Enclaves, the AWS Compute Optimizer, Savings Plans, Amazon EKS for AWS Fargate, AWS Fargate Spot, Amazon ECS Capacity Providers, Amazon ECS CLI 2.0, ECS Cluster Autoscaling, EC2 Image Builder, AWS License Manager Simplified Windows and SQL Server BYOL, AWS End of Support Migration Program for Windows Server, Amazon S3 Access Points, EBS Direct APIs for Snapshots, Amazon Managed Apache Cassandra Service, Amazon Aurora Machine Learning Integration, Amazon RDS Proxy, UltraWarm for Amazon Elasticsearch Service, Amazon Redshift RA3 instances with managed storage, Aqua, the Advanced Query Accelerator for Amazon Redshift, Amazon Redshift Federated Query, Amazon Redshift Data Lake Export, AWS Data Exchange, CloudTrail Insights, AWS Detective, AWS IAM Access Analyzer, AWS Single Sign-On, AWS Transit Gateway Inter-Region Peering, AWS Accelerated Site-to-Site -Site VPN, AWS Transit Gateway Network Manager, Transit Gateway Multicast, Amazon VPC Ingress Routing, Provision Currency on AWS Lambda, HTTP APIs for Amazon API Gateway, AWS Step Functions Express Workflows, Amazon Event Bridge Schema Registry, Amplify for iOS and Android, Amplify Data Store, the Amazon Builders Library, Alexa Voice Service Integration for IoT Core, Container Support for AWS IoT Greengrass, AWS Outposts, Local Zones, Wavelength Zones, Amazon Transcribe Medical, Amazon Augmented AI, Amazon Fraud Detector, Contact Lens for Amazon Connect, Amazon CodeGuru, Amazon Kendra, Amazon SageMaker Processing, SageMaker Experiments, SageMaker Autopilot, SageMaker Debugger, SageMaker Model Monitor, SageMaker Notebooks, Studio, and SageMaker Operators for Kubernetes. There's blog posts for just about all of these, so check those out. Now let's take a, a deep dive into just a couple of these launches. Provision Currency for AWS Lambda. This allows you to address cold start latency while Lambda prepares execution environments. You simply provision the desired number of environments per function or per alias. You set the number, and it's ready in minutes. Works with any of the Lambda triggers, and you simply pay for the amount of concurrency. The Event Bridge Schema Registry. As you might know, Event Bridge helps you to connect applications together using events. The schemas describe the events and their structures, and now you can find them and store them in the new schema registry. It also generates bindings for use in your favorite IDE. Net result, you can build better apps faster. Last one, new S3 access points. There's many different ways to use an S3 bucket, including as a data lake. When you do this, managing permissions for that bucket can be very challenging. The new access points give you fine-grained control. You could have multiple of these per bucket, each of with their own policy. You can control the operations. You can allow access only from a specific VPC. You can even write policies that reference IAM users. So this wraps up 2019. We're looking forward to a great 2020. We love your feedback. We anxiously await it. Send us email, tweet at me, leave a comment below on this video. Also, love it if you subscribe to this channel, click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.